Hi all, I'm Tony and this is SV Tapatia and this is the, the video log of the build of this boat that you see behind me um, and as you can probably tell we're getting fairly close to the end which is a, a wonderful thing. Last week we fitted the rudder and as you can probably tell this week I've taken it off again. Um, you may remember that, that it needed some extension at the top, some cheek pieces uh, extension and uh, tiller fitting on the top and, and taking it off for that purpose and we'll be having a look at that in a minute how it's getting on it's get going very well um, good progress gonna start in the boat though with something actually the same place that we started last week because I had a bit of a rethink and uh, I'll show you what's going on there well last week I showed you this tea um, it's for this salt water, there's the salt water, raw water filter, and it's for the, the raw water intake. And I had to tee it off because one part goes off to the engine and one part goes off to the salt water pump in the galley. And I'd had some issues with that. I've used true design fittings, you see that there's the sea cock there. I've used true design fittings throughout, with the exception. Let me just pan up. I hope that's focusing. With the exception of the uh, exhaust through hull, everything else is true design. And uh, I really like them. And you know, they're not the cheapest, but they're not scarily expensive either. And um, so I wanted to use, continue that and use this true design parts for a T, but um, the only T piece they have, or at least that's available here, is inch and a half. So I've had to use that inch and a half T there. And they make um, hose barbs, hose nozzles, for a 90 millimeter hose for that inch and a half T, that's fine. Um, so coming in from the raw water filter there, you've got the, the female end of the T with a 19 millimeter hose barb in it and going out to the engine, same thing. The other end of the T of course is the male thread and they don't make anything to, to, uh, that will go onto the male thread hose barb to take a 19 millimeter hose. And in fact, I wanted a 13 millimeter hose off to the salt water pump. So that was impossible and I ended up last week with a couple of reducer pieces to get down there and it all look pretty ugly. So what I've done now is spent another 60 bucks. As you can see, I put another seacock on there, which then gave me a female thread on the end and I could run a 19 millimeter hose barb in that. And I'll just go under the galley cupboard and here in the, under the galley sink here, look, you see I've come through to get another seacock. Well, I had that one there already. That I've put a 90 millimeter barb in and stepped down to the 12 mil to the salt water pump, a 13 mil to the salt water pump. However, True Design don't make that seacock there is a half inch thread. They don't make a 19 millimeter hose barb with a half inch thread. So I've had to go bronze on that one. But um, since the pump is bronze and the salt water pump on the engine is bronze, I don't think that's an issue. But I've got a bronze bar there into that seacock. But that is a much tidier solution, I think you'll agree. And I'm happy with it now. One thing you can do to support this, this channel is to hit that old subscribe button. Uh, help us get out to a wider audience. Go on. Thank you. So then it was time to get in the workshop and, and start working on that rudder. Um, as I say, and the goal was to, to extend it upwards, uh, to make a couple of cheap pieces that fit either side of it, put a block in the middle. In fact, I had a couple of different designs of how to go about this, this extension upwards, and it took me a while to settle on one. And uh, in the end, it was obvious because the, the hinge pin needs to be able to slide in and out. So, so that rather settled the design when I realised that one. And you'll see how it's going. Uh, the first job, as I say, was to make up these cheap pieces. Elizabeth sort of drew a very 
nice pattern for me and uh, we cut those to shape. She was in here a couple of days helping out this week, which was nice. Um, we cut those cheap pieces. We drilled and filled and drilled the holes for the lower um, rudder pin tool, if you like. And we glued up a block that goes between those cheap pieces that actually will, will extend the, the rudder upwards um, using 15 millimeter ply for all of that. The situation now is that that's ready for glassing, all ready to be glassed. Um, we'll be doing that soon. It's been very wet, very stormy here recently. So I did have intentions of getting the rudder back on, but it was just not sort of weather you want to be outside in. Luckily, it's, it seems to be over for now. So you see the blade going through the top, that's what you're seeing, but at the bottom it's cutting that bit further because the blade is, is that much wider at table level, you see what I mean? So when you're bearing in mind how far your cut goes, you can't cut up to the mm -hmm. exact corner because then you cut too far at the bottom. Yep. So you always got to leave it a little bit short. And then, uh, yeah, put a hand on that if you like. That should be two bits the same size. If we've had any luck at all, you can try them and tell me how successful we are, if you like. Pack the two screw holes full of grease.
lovely warm night last night. That has set off rock hard. Very good. And hopefully, oh yeah, beautiful. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. So that grease did its job there. There's the second one, first one was too short. Well, as you've just seen, um, one important thing to do was to glue in this bronze um, bush there that, that forms the lower rudder pin and do the same on the boat as well. So those are both epoxy in place now. But doing this one, it's important to make sure those screw holes didn't get blocked up with epoxy, which just turned out well. Um, and the pin's now just in there and waiting for assembly. Another thing that I did was to cut the, the hinge pin that goes through the upper rudder hinges, cut that to length and drilled a couple of holes for it to, to, to accept some uh, stainless uh, split pins, cotter pins. I put some washers that were supposed to go under there but the ones I've got I'm not happy with, the, the hole's a bit too big. Bigger than spec said they would be actually. I'll keep them but I've bought some, I've ordered some new ones there on their way uh, that hopefully will fit that better. Should do according to the specs. Time will tell. What are you doing there, Elizabeth? Filling the holes. Filling the holes so that we could <laughs> drill them again. What a Yay. silly carry on. Drill holes so you can fill them so that you can drill more holes. Yeah, what about fun. Good sides together. Yeah. 
did that one, have you already, or I can do it, or whatever. Good face, good face. down the the boxy. Solid. Thank <laughs> you. 
and that's it for this week the the various pieces are all made up now we'll have a have a detailed look at those next week and i shall be glassing them and assembling them and hopefully getting that rudder back on seeing about getting the tiller shaped and fitted we'll see how far we get but that's certainly where we're going next well thank you for watching a massive thank you to the lovely people who support us on patreon and via paypal if you'd like to become a patron of these videos and these videos are completely independent there's no funding from from anywhere outside of the the marvelous people on patreon and, and paypal if you'd like to become a patron there's a link at the end of the video from as little as one dollar a month to support this whole project and as i say i'm very very grateful to the lovely people who do we'll be back next time see you then Thank you.